Welcome to Craft Stick Bending. This is the second video on how to bend mold shape craft sticks in just about any shape you want. This is my workshop where I'm building bridges, doing remote control cars, converting them to popsicle stick contraptions, creations. We, uh, we do Pinewood Derby. Uh, there's uh, a couple bridges. <clears throat> what we covered in our last video was some basic information. Okay, get that out of the way. And the basic information was uh, you have to soak your sticks overnight or longer. And then um, before that, actually, you have to find the perfect stick. And what I mean by the perfect stick is uh, you have to find a, a quality stick that doesn't have any knots, uh, the grain going the wrong way. Uh, any imperfections will uh, not allow you to do any bends like this is a Sharpie bend, I call it. And I don't really know what I call this one. But bends like that won't be done uh, correctly if there's a knot hole in the popsicle stick or the craft stick. So when you're looking for craft sticks, um, you got to kind of be selective or you're going to waste your time and um, you know not be very successful. So what we covered in our last video was uh, basic information, which we'll cover again today, and some more elaborate. This is what we did last week, uh, where we just take some household lids and wrap them around the, the lids and clamp them. And when they're dry, they're drying in that shape. So what I call household bends might be things, these are lids uh, from around the house, uh, Tupperware lids. And <clears throat> once, you, once you start to look around your house for things to bend around, you'll see all sorts of potential. And um, one stick isn't really going to do you much. But when you get hundreds of sticks, or 50, 25, and I'll show you in a minute what that means, you can really start to expand your creations. So what we have here is um, some paint can lids, which are ideal for bending around, because not only can you bend in the, in the top, but you can also bend in the, the back. And that's true for the small lids and the medium quart size lids. You can um, twist, you can bring those in, soak them, and push them into the lid. And that uh, develops things like this, which I'm not quite sure what that's going to be yet. which is kind of how things go. Start to bend and not quite sure what, you're, what it is you're going to make. But uh, hopefully some of these examples and the future videos I'll have will show you options of things to make. So here's a, a nice keychain holder. We have a um, jewelry holder, flower. Uh, we like to do a lot of things with the Pinewood Derby and remote controls. So I'll get these lids out of the way. <clears throat> so here's a couple more examples of things to bend around. So some more paint can lids. So like I said, you gotta soak your sticks. Excuse me just for a sec. Get into the... So here's paint can lid and the wet sticks and just bend them right in there. And then uh, once you're done and have things clamped, be sure to put it over a register. Here's some more uh, lids that we've clamped around. You can see the variety of clamps that you might uh, 
want to purchase. Eventually I'll have uh, supplies, bending supplies on my website that um, you can purchase clamps, the DVD. To show you another example. So you got your wet stick. Bring it into your form and press it in. So the advantage of this one is you can move it back and forth. Oops. Physics. So once you get a couple of those bent in and dry, then you can take your project from there. And I'll show you the advantage of having a lot of sticks here in a minute. One of our goals of this uh, adventure of craft stick bending is to add uh, wires, motors, remote controls, servos to popsicle sticks and create all sorts of new contraptions. We also have a Pinewood Derby trailer coming online where I'll teach you how to um, mold and build a trailer for your derby car. So, you know, the big uh, picture is uh, to develop wires, servos, remote controls with Pinewood Derby or um, craft sticks and they'd be a little more creative than ever before. What we have here is a Pinewood Derby car with a camera, motor, and a receiver for remote control. So you can video who's in front of you or video who might be coming behind you. And that's an example of adding the popsicle sticks, servos, and motors together. So I'll clear this out of the way. Okay, technical problems. Oops. There we go. Okay, so what we have here is an example of a uh, flower with some of the gentle bends or the household bends that we've done. Um, with those gentle bends, oops, the, uh, the triangle with three gentle bends together you can produce a nice triangle. So what we have here is a crossbow and a catapult combination. Um, let's see here, what we did here is we produced um, propeller from um, uh, ice cream spoons. Put them together, put them on a motor, put them on a, a spoon, and produced a propeller. Uh, we have some right angle paint stir sticks coming online, uh, working on that technology now. So applying the same technology we're using for the craft sticks and applying that to paint sticks. So now we can bend them. And once again, uh, here is a wine rack, which also if you take the bottles out and turn it on its side, it doubles as a bridge. Here is a fruit bowl we made. A couple bridges we have uh, online being made. So one of the next videos will show uh, kids how to build bridges. This is just an example of all the different kinds of lids things you can bend around. Thank you for visiting craftstickbending.com where we will show you all sorts of new crafts and abilities with the end result of adding craft stick bending and remote control 
vehicles, wires, servos, where one day we'll be able to make robots using craft sticks. Once again, thank you very much and have a good day.